we want to determine the following one-sided limits. But before we do this, I want to review the connection between one-sided limits and vertical asymptotes. The vertical line x equals a is a vertical asymptote of the graph of f of x if the limit as x approaches a from the left or from the negative side or as x approaches a from the right or the positive side of f of x equals plus or minus infinity. So if these one set of limits are equal to plus or minus infinity, then we can say x equals a is a vertical asymptote. So going back to our two examples, we first have the limit as x approaches a from the right or from the positive side of one divided by the quantity x minus two. So looking at the graph on the right, if we approach positive two from the right or from the positive side, we'd be approaching from this direction here. Notice as we approach positive two from this direction, the function values increase without bound and therefore approach positive infinity, which would be what our limit is approaching which means this limit does not exist, but because it approaches positive infinity, this tells us x equals two is a vertical asymptote. Which looking in the graph would be this vertical line here, where a vertical asymptote is a line a graph approaches, but never crosses. So really what's happening here is, notice as x approaches positive two from values that are larger than two, the denominator is approaching zero, but it will always be positive. So we have one divided by a positive value approaching zero, and therefore the values approach positive infinity. We can also create a table of values to show this. Where for this first table, notice we're approaching positive two from the positive side, or from values that are larger than two. As we do this, notice how the function values are getting larger and larger, approaching positive infinity. Looking at our second limit, we have the limit as x approaches two from the left or from the negative side of one divided by the quantity x minus two. So now going back to the graph, we're approaching from the left or from this direction here. As we get closer and closer to positive two from this direction, notice how the function values are now decreasing without bound, and therefore the function values are approaching a negative infinity, which is also what our limit is approaching which once again tells us this limit does not exist, but because it is approaching negative infinity, once again this does tell us we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two. In this case, notice if x approaches two from values that are less than two, our denominator is still approaching zero, but it's also going to be negative. So one divided by a very small number is going to approach negative infinity. If we show this using a table of values, Notice again, we are approaching positive two, but now from values that are less than two. As we get closer and closer to two from the left, notice how the function values are now approaching negative infinity. And that's because now we're dividing by a smaller and smaller negative number. I hope you found this explanation helpful.